One day you will be his strong Chaka of Guchos. things going in the camp. Life is simple for us, Kila. We have our Muleki, who take care of gathering plants. Itonka protect us from guchos, such as you. And our Tufas hunt me to eat. Let's go. All right. Even if Boba's feet is tired. You talk too much. Okay. Boba keep his mouth shut. Let's go. This stone archway unites the traditional and the modern. Are you talking about the pirates and the natives? No, I'm talking about a bottle of rum. Of course that's what I'm talking about. Haug, let's go. Do not eat me, please. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin! Ha! Laka Tonga! Bobo. Tired. Let me at him! But we soon there in Kila camp. Bobor strong, Tufa. We'll make it. I'm going to crush ah, a few <laughs> That hurt. We stay together. Hoshi. We are here. This is killer camp. Bobo will sleep now. What about a reward? Bobo almost forget. Here, gold for Gucho. Thanks. No, 
Thank you, Gojo, for taking me on journey. Now, Bobo will sleep. Kapujala, Gojo. I'm sure you take care of your community. It makes Chi and Camille proud. But some Kila are not worthy of being a Tonka. Take Camille's advice. Honor what is given to you before it is taken from you. What can you tell me about your tribe? Gucho want to know about Kila. Then, listen to Camille. But, take care. Camille's words are important. Treat my words with respect, or the Hike will punish you. All right, that's enough. Chi, it is with you. Karaka Gucho, filthy pirates in my village again. I should send you running from my island before even more of your kind come. Maybe I should do the talking. I'm familiar with the natives. I'll manage. I'm not part of that sorry mess down there. You speak nonsense. Look at yourself. What else could you be? I am Chaka Hirutu, chieftain and high shaman of the Kila. I have great responsibility here and little patience for you who disturb the peace of my people. Calm down, friend. I'm not here to make a fuss. Can you help me? We have enough of our own problems, Gucho. Our ancestors are enraged and no longer speak to us. The ocean and our jungle have gone crazy. And to make matters worse, there's that pirate filth on the beach making life difficult for us. No, Gucho. We cannot help you. What about the pirates at the beach? 
They cannot be trusted. They want what is ours. That is why they are here. And once they have it, it will be corrupted. We will sacrifice them to our ancestors. How can I stop you from starting a war with the pirates? Oh no. We will sacrifice them soon, and the ancestors will come to our aid. Aren't you exaggerating just a little? You are wrong, but go. Talk to Tenya of our Kiki. In her words lie wisdom, in mine only pain. You're a powerful voodoo shaman, aren't you? Yes, I am. Only Chani is stronger than I. Chani? Yes, she is our chief, Kiki. She is not here. She has gone to appease the Oracle. When is she coming back? I do not know. Chani has traveled to the Forbidden Land. That was many suns ago. Only the Hike know if she will succeed. My spirit was banished to the underworld. Hmm. So you're a lost ghost. More dead than alive. But I'm not that dead, either. It's only a matter of time, Gucho. But I must be able to do something about it. I can heal your wounds and cast a few spells. But if your spirit is already wandering the underworld, you'll need a more powerful sorcerer than me. Use the time you have left to do good, Gucho. Bones. My comrade in arms says you could provide me with some relief. Bones? Is he a Tonka? No. But he once had problems with his spirit. But a shaman helped him. Then he ate a black heart. Yeah. With a little salt and pepper. Well, of course. You don't eat it raw, Gucho. Black hearts have tremendous life force when they are purified. When eaten, a purified black heart will strengthen your blood. You will be more resilient. How do I clean a raw black heart? You need the heart and a totem of innocence. Bring it to me and I shall consecrate the raw heart to the Hike. The black heart will then be pure and you can eat it. Where do I get a totem of innocence? First, find yourself a virgin, and then... Something simple would be appreciated. I see that we'll have to do things differently with you, Gucho. You should use the bones of an innocent monkey to purify a black heart. It should have the same effect as our usual method. What does the shaman know of the dangers at sea? I know that the spirits of the Guchos rage across the waters. Their evil ships bring death to our land. Hmm, you're right. Did you say there's trouble in the jungle? We have recently mourned the loss of many. The spiders of Kila leave their caves more often and kill the Tufas of my people. We seldom go hunting now. Tell me more about your oracle. The Oracle Margoloth was the very first being in this world. She holds the knowledge of millennia within her. She has prevailed throughout time and has observed our destiny ever since our birth here. The Forbidden Land is our home. Woe is he who challenges Margoloth. Be warned, she is wise, yet Merciless when strangers disturb her peace. Where is this forbidden land? It is beyond the great gate in the east and forbidden to you, Guchos. The oldest Tonka guards the entrance. Baraka is his name. Only he can open the gate. He protects the forbidden land from the eyes of strangers. Where do I find the bone of an innocent monkey? Monkeys are cheeky, 
courageous, and they do a lot of stupid things in their life. You will have to catch a very young monkey, one that is untainted, so its bones can be of use. Many monkeys were born close to the village recently. Hunt them, or see one of our merchants. They should be able to sell you one of these bones. Looks like I found a good shaman. Hirutu seems to be the right one to help me. Wonderful! Then you'd better do as he tells you. He's your doctor now. Don't run off. I still require your services. How flattering. What you want, Gucho? I'm just looking around in your village. She, but never forget that the gifts of our ancestors belong to our people. Do not tempt the wrath of the Hike, otherwise you will share the fate of our prisoner. You may speak to him, but his tongue is full of lies. But enough palava! Yalla! Yalla! Damn it! What are you doing here? Why... Are you still alive? How... How can that be? No shit. Aren't you the guy who once sold Patty the treasure map of Crab Coast? I... I... I, 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 I can explain everything. It's too late for explanations now. I died because of you. Well, mostly died. No, you have to listen to me. It wasn't my fault at all. I just wanted to make a, a quick handful of gold. You're in deep shit, my friend. I know I made a mistake, but you must help me. Why the fuck should I help you of all people? Because there's no one else here who'll listen to me. They want to sacrifice me to their oracle. Speak to their chieftain. Tell him that they should set me free. What do you know about the oracle? I only know that it's one of their gods or something. But it doesn't matter. I don't want to die. Help me. Please! I'll talk to the chieftain. We'll see what he has to say about you. But don't forget to tell him that he should release me. I'll think about it. And don't bugger about. I got a wife and kids. Or I will do someday. Or maybe you won't. Where's the gold you were given to trick me? All gone. I was robbed of some and spent the rest on drinks. You see, I've suffered more than enough for my deeds. I swear by my pirate's honor that I'd give it to you if I had any left. Honor? That sounds like a joke coming from you. I mean it, believe me!
I'd like to talk to you about Slim, your pirate captive. Talk? Ono palava, Gucho. The Guchos bring death, and they also deserve it themselves. Hirutu has no reason to trust them, and so the Guchu prisoner will be executed. Aha, Kucho. I, I see... Uh, your spirit... Your spirit is... Uh, weak. But you are pure of heart. If you say so. Chi. I am Tanya. Kiki of the Kila. It's an honor to meet you, Tanya. Kiki of the Kila. You are welcome among the Kila. If the ancestors so wish, you will find help with us. Your chieftain doesn't seem to like the pirates down at the beach very much. Chi. They are not at one with nature, and nothing good comes from their tongue. But Chakahirutu is wrong. The Guchos are like small children. If nobody holds your hand, your actions are rash. And like every child, you have to be shown the right path. But you walk that path on your own. How can I dissuade Hirutu from sacrificing the pirates? You? No, Gucho. You will never dissuade him. You have not been here long. He will not listen to you. I won't let him sacrifice the pirates. If you want him to listen, you must walk the path of the Kiki. Path of the Kiki? What's that? Listen, only a Tonka who grew up here can persuade him. I didn't grow up here. Combine the panther's strength, the snake's wisdom, and the alligator's patience. Right. How's that gonna help? Your task is to bring me a hair from Tonka Makoto. Why do you need his hair? It's the only way I can work voodoo. It will allow you to be a Tonka who grew up here. I will use the hair to make you a doll. It will be filled with the power of the Hike. Makoto's body and spirit will obey you. Through him, you will be able to dissuade our chieftain. We are to trick the chieftain? Sounds like a foolproof plan. Yeah, foolproof. Tell me when you are ready for this task. Where do I find Makoto? He is guarding the east entrance to our village. Go down the steps and you will see him. I'll get you one of Makoto's hairs. Gee, but bear in mind that Makoto won't give it to you willingly. Where am I supposed to get it? The fruits of the night made it easy for you. And what's that supposed to mean? Bahati's bed will give you the answer, Gucho. And what do you do? I am the wisdom of the Kila. In my dreams, I link our world with the world of the Hike. That is how it has been for many nights. Summer and winter. And now they no longer speak to you? Chi. They are silent. Even the Oracle has been no help so far. My dreams have gone dark, and our village is on the brink of destruction. The shadows have come. I haven't met any of them here. Not yet, anyway. They are close. Yeah, too close for my taste. Let yourself be infused with the power of voodoo. 
It will be a valuable weapon in your fight. Tell me about the Oracle. The Oracle is wise and ancient. We ask her for advice in times of unrest. Even in times like this? Chi, we have tried, but Margoloth has denied us an audience. She has locked herself in her cave of rock and stone. But enough of that. We should not speak of the Oracle. Old Margoloth sees and hears everything. She is quick to anger if you speak of her. I'd like to get to know her. Do not underestimate the power of the Oracle, Gucho. If she gets her fangs into you, she will eat you alive. Margoloth is wise, very wise, but she can be cold and cruel. I see. What's wrong with your village? The killer are desperate. Evil is coming to us and we are defenseless. If the ancestors are angered and refuse to talk to us, then we have lost the source of our power. It is my task to appease the Hike. What do you have to do? I must renew the sign of the ancestors. Yet the task is too difficult alone. How do I renew the sign of the ancestors? It is a scepter made of many valuable treasures from our world. Collecting a few odds and ends shouldn't be a problem. The last scepter was made a hundred years ago. Go on. It is very time-consuming to use the old ways. What's the problem? I need to make preparations to build the scepter. I have very little time to find what I need. I fear that it could be too late for the Keeler when my work is complete. I'll help you. I'll find what you need. That is good, Gucho. I need an especially sturdy spider leg to serve as the rod of the scepter, a shimmering pearl, a jade symbol, and the heart of a strong panther. They represent the special powers of the Hike and might appease them. The ancestral stones in our village bear inscriptions that tell you where to find what I need. Do you know our language, Gucho? Um, not enough, I'm afraid. Hmm, pity. But thank you for offering anyway. Well, I can try. Ah, good. Then go to the three ancestral stones and try your luck. We erected three ancestral stones around our village. Right. Good. I'll prepare everything in the meantime. Let's trade. I really feel at home here. Those who treat the natives with respect will also be treated with respect. Except when they have nothing to eat, but that's another story.
Welcome, Kucho. <laughs> Why so pleasant? Ixil is not like brothers. They are full of distrust. But Ixil know that Kucho good for business. Are you trading with the pirates? She? Why not? Guchos have plenty of gold in pockets, and we killer love gold. Trading bring many benefits. What kind of benefits? Nothing that would interest you, Gucho. Ixil sees only personal advantage. Shaka Hirutu will know that Ixil is better than all Tonkas together. Enough! On a blabber about business, Ixil has things to do. What do you do here? Kucho want to say more words. Ixil advises Shakeharutu and mediates between Guchos and Kila. Many problems between our peoples. It seems negotiations took an unfortunate turn. Well, many Guchos do not heed the rules of the Kila. They still must learn. To increase the Gucho's standing forever. Hmm. Ixil think you help Ixil. Sounds good, but how can you help me? That is easy, Gucho. Baraka, guard of Gate to Forbidden Valley, gets food from Meleke. You bring him food and tell him you helping Meleke. Then he will know that you Gucho's mean well. Baraka's word carries much weight with Chaka Hirutu. Do this task, and Killer and Guchos will be able to live in peace forever. Agreed. I'll bring the food to Baraka. Good, Gujo. Here, take this. Do not forget, tell Baraka that Moleke sent the food. Only then will Baraka understand Gucho's gesture. Will you trade with me too? If Kucho wants, Ixil will trade with him. For gold, of course. What would a Keela want with gold? <laughs> trade with other Guchos. What else? Show me something. Camille will keep watching you, Gucho. bone and the black heart for cleaning. So be it, Gucho. Here is your black heart. Thanks for your help with the purification. Whenever you need them, come to me, but use them wisely, Gucho. Black hearts strengthen your body, yet darken your spirit. Always remember this, and never leave the path of humanity. That is the only way for you to find salvation.
Leave Bobo in peace now. Bobo needs sleep. Lots of sleep. Look, a lock of dark hair. I got some hair from Makoto. Good. I will weave it into the doll. Here, take it. The power of the Hike is in your hands. Now, Jala Gucho. Work voodoo. Control Makoto. So what does it say here? Symbols of strength were sacrificed to Uxmal. The panther is one of the strongest animals. Hmm. Uxmal must be a hunter, and his gift is the strong heart of a panther. So where do I find a strong panther? There's something here about an old altar to the northeast of the village. Agucho? Here? Makoto knew Camille is weak, Tonka. Leaves humans in village. Spits on honor of the Kila. I'm not here to cause trouble. Makoto knows. But trouble follows you. You are not even good enough to do work of our muleke. Guchos like you, good for nothing. Worth less than dirt Makoto steps in. Get out of my sight, Gucho. Or you will become like this Gucho Slim, a prisoner. If someone is as stupid as that, there's only one option. And that is? Be even more stupid. Ono Palava, go away. Why do you hate the pirates so much? Makoto does not just hate people of the beach. He hate all Guchos. Makoto knows the stories. Your thunder sticks are faster than wind, and your greed greater than any rock. You put our men and women in irons, trample all we have built, desecrate all we hold dear. When the Tiwas created you, they must have been full of rage. Could it be that you're the big mouth in this camp? Makoto has no big mouth. Makoto stronger than Baraka, smarter than Tenya, quicker than Tadashi. Right. If I next Chaka, we Kila will be strong and fight all Guchos. I can see already that nothing will come of this.
escucha, Halima? ¿Mi emiti? Sorry, what did you say? Sí, mi emiti chequeque. Mi emiti taco ona cuchos. Pirates. If I understand this right, you want to go to the pirates on the beach. Sí. A woman among pirates, not a good idea. Cuchos matao? Mi emiti bambule. A native that beats pirates up. Even I'd pay gold to see that. But seriously though, I don't think your plan is going to please your chieftain. Chata Harutu on a papai, Mia Miti on head. If I help you to disappear, the entire Kila tribe will burn me alive. Tawu Jala Jala? Run, run away? Believe me, running away doesn't sound the best plan. Besides, it has to be safe for you in the pirate camp. Otherwise, it could be a short visit. Chi, Mia Chapara. Mia Miti, wait here. Why are you so nervous? Homie scare animals. And when animals flee, Hamia must start hunt again. It's better when we all quiet. You're a hunter. No, Hamia is on hunt, but not hunter. Hamia want collect something that gone missing. I understand. A collector then. No, no, not a collector. If you're not a hunter or a collector, what are you then? A gnu! What else, homie? Forget him. Don't be angry, homie. Long trip bring many questions. Your great journey brought you tequila. Yip, yip. And like every gnu, Hamir must find his orikulki on great voyage. And you haven't found it yet? No, homie. Hamir has found it, but monkey steal it. You let a monkey steal from you? Hip! Nasty thief! Nobody steal from Pamir! But this monkey is specially crafty! He has cover, but Pamir no dare enter! Maybe Homie has solution! What's your orikoki like? It's small sparkly ring! Homies wear on ears! An earring? That doesn't sound very exciting. Sparkle from far away. Honey, no kumpo of Pamir from far away with sparkly ring. Where did you get that earring? Was present from Homie. He no need it anymore. So Pamir took it. I'll find your Urikulki. Tantan, Homie. If you want, Pamir show you way to Monkey Cave. Just say, and I'll take you there. Take me to the monkey cave. Yep. Homie looking for Gozo and Pamir runs. Let's go. Let's go. 
right, Ellen. Amir is confused. Do we go left or right? What do you think of me? Let's go right. Okie dokie. Good choice. Pamia will go first. <laughs> Careful, homie. We're almost there. Banana compass would make search much easier. Banana compass? What's that? Homie just put down bowl with a banana. The monkey cave is on side where the banana was bitten. And that's supposed to work? Sure. Enough blah blah. Follow. We're here, homie. This is place where monkey disappears through hole. I sure it has my orikulki there. How am I gonna crawl through that small hole? Homie, too big. Monkey not. Well spotted, short ass. Homies have shown you how to make monkeys friendly yet? You mean, use a trained monkey? Yep, yep. That's how homie do it. Nick Stacky, okay? Fluffy monkey! Nick Stacky, okay? Do you recognize this? Kulki! You found it! Homie Grania Compo! Is Monkey dead? No. There's no trace of him. No matter. Homie still get part of Pamir's treasure. What are you gonna do now? Looking for shiny dinghy. The more the better. When all pockets full, Pamir build raft and sail home. Then there be big party. Glad to run into you here. I've been waiting for you. You're exactly the right person for my plan. Plan? I'll tell you all about it along the way. Along the way? Of course, along the way. Standing around won't get us any closer to the Great Temple. So, proceed. I will follow. There's the gate. The Forbidden Valley's on the other side. We've got to find a way to convince the guards to let us pass. All right. <laughs> 